Fantastic new designs. Now on to number eight, and it's HomeKit. You know, before we announced HomeKit two years ago, the home accessory space was a mess of incompatible and insecure protocols and accessories that required you to download a separate app that you needed to learn just to control each individual accessory. But with HomeKit, we've been changing all that. We're making sure that your home automation products work together easily and securely. And this year, we've rounded out the set of accessory types supported by HomeKit to include important new categories, like cameras and door locks. And in fact, essentially every major maker of home accessories has shipping or has announced support for HomeKit. And home builders are getting on board as well. Some of the biggest builders of homes here in the United States and in China are now building new homes with HomeKit built right in, so you can move in and just start controlling your home. But you know, this year, we're taking the next big step for HomeKit and iOS in the home. We're building on the HomeKit framework with a great new app we call Home. It's right on your iOS home screen. Now, when you launch the home app, you get to see your own personalized wallpaper and all of your accessories, no matter who they're made by. And you can control them so easily. If you want to turn on a light, of course, just tap it. If you want to adjust the dimmer, well, just press in a little harder and slide, and you can adjust the dimmer just like that. So you can tap, tap, tap across all the accessories in your home. But sometimes, you'd like to trigger a change to all of them. And for that, we have something we call scenes. So for instance, if you want to uh, get ready for bed, you can tap good night. You'll see that close the living room shades, lock the front door, adjust the thermostat, all in one step. Now, Siri knows how to interact with scenes as well. So if in the morning you say good morning to Siri, well, Siri can automatically get your home all ready for you for the day. And you can also control your accessories without launching an app at all, because HomeKit is actually built right into Control Center. Swipe up Control Center, you can swipe over to see your home controls. And with just a tap, for instance, open up your garage door. Now, HomeKit takes advantage of our interactive notifications as well. So if someone rings the doorbell, for instance, you can tap in and actually get a live feed of your front door camera, talk to them on the intercom if you want, and even unlock the door all right from the lock screen of your iPhone. Now, yeah. Now, since your Apple TV is always on, always plugged in, and always on the network in your home, it can serve as a secure point for remote access and automation within your home. So when you're on the go, you can actually access all of your accessories securely end-to-end -end encrypted, and you can set up automation like geofences so that when you roll into your driveway, you can make sure that the garage door will open, the lights will turn on, and maybe even the hot tub will start up in the back for you all automatically. Now, the Home app is great on the iPhone. It's also fantastic on the iPad as well. So many people like using the iPad as the ultimate home control device, whether mounted on the wall or on the coffee table. And, of course, there's nothing beating the remote that you always have with you right on your wrist, the Apple Watch. It comes with built-in home control support as well. So that's a quick update on home.